اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم From today onwards, I'm starting a new series on SEM, Structural Equation Modeling in R. The objective of the sessions is to introduce Structural Equation Modeling in R. This particular session will focus on the introduction of R and R Studio. So what is R, what is R Studio and how can we use PLS SCM in R? All this and much more will be covered in great detail in coming lectures. So this is a very good book which will be used throughout this particular series. The book is written by here, Thomas Halt, Christian Ringel, Marco Sastet, Nicholas Stanks and Somia Ray. I would especially like to thank Professor Ray for answering my queries and being in touch during this whole series. Hopefully he will join us in one of the lectures later in the series as well. Now if you want to read about partial least squares structural equation modeling in R, this is a free resource easily downloadable from Springer website. This is open access book. So if you want to know more and in more detail, then I strongly recommend reading this book. Now what are the contents of this series? So we start with the overview of R and R Studio. Then we talk about a SEM in R package. Following this, we will talk about evaluation of reflective models, evaluation of formative models, evaluation of the structural model, mediation analysis, moderation analysis, and higher order constructs. So what is R? R is a statistical computing language which is the software language used to import and clean data as well as create and analyze PLS path models. So R is basically a statistical computing language. And this is the language we are going to use to write our PLS models or create our PLS models. The advantage of R is that it is free. It is open software. Now what happens is this enables users to write and execute code that analyze data. Readers should note that R can refer to both the programming language and the primary software that runs the code written in this language. Further, open source refers to the kind of software whose underlying code is made freely available and is generally open to suggested improvements or new features built by others. The open source nature of R makes code written in the R language highly reproducible, shareable, testable, scalable, and deployable to larger automated application. So these are the advantages of R being open sourced. An ever expanding community of R users supports test documents and provides add on resources for each other. Now there are hundreds of libraries that are there available for R users and there are groups, there are documents that one can use if you are in trouble using R. The R language was designed with computational statistics in mind. So the R language is used for computational statistics. In its simplest form, it can be run from your operating system's command line or from the R console like this. However, I recommend using an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. It's much easier like R Studio. Now an IDE is a programming environment where you write the code for the language. Now we are going to discuss about the layout of R Studio in a while. So how do you get R and R Studio? Now the first step is you have to download R. Now before using R Studio, you need to have R in your system. Now how do you download this? Here is the link and this will be shared in the description as well. Now once you download it and install it, the next step is you have to download R Studio. And where is it? It can be downloaded from this link. Now this is R. The link will be shared in the description. So you just click it or right click it, save link as, and you can save the R file. Furthermore, it's just an executable file. You just need to double click and run. And secondly, you've got different options for R Studio. We are interested in free and the free will work just fine for us. So you just click here and download 
the free version here. This one, the first one, R Studio Desktop. Now once both are done and R Studio is done, you just need to go to start and you type in R and it will give you the R Studio. You just need to open it. Once you open it, you will see this integrated development environment where you write your R code. Now this is your console where you can write your code or this is the script file. Here you can write your code and then run your code. This is the environment, history, connections, tutorials. Now we are going to look into these as we go along. Now here, the bottom right, we've got files, different files that I've been using, the plots that you get, the packages that are available or you want to install different packages, you can install it from here. So if you click install, you can just write, let's say, sem in R and look at this. It gave you the seminar package. Just click install and it will install the package for you. And further, the install packages are visible here. Let's say we've got this package here. So we click here and here is the documentation, help pages and everything related to the package. We are going to look into this a bit later as well. Now moving on, so this was all about R and R Studio, how to download R, how to download R Studio, how to install it, just double click the files and it will be installed. In the next lecture, we are going to focus on an introduction to R and R Studio. Thank you very much.